be saying that with Vice. He don't be Vice saying be, that with Vice here. Vice because Vice is taller than me. He don't be saying that when Vice here. He, he don't be like, get my angles right, get my angles right. Hey, Kevin Abstract. Kevin Abstract. I met you at my auntie cookout one time. Come on. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, my auntie gonna see this. Can you say Auntie Clarissa? <laughs> auntie Clarissa, this is You're embarrassing me. right outside of San Marcos, you know, the birthplace of Brockhampton, legendary little town, you know. We're gonna put it on the map. Yeah, I'm a punk, I'm a punk. Damn, what are we gonna do? We in San Marcos, crazy. This is where I first met all these I've been, I've, when I, yes. I've been spat on. Roy, oh, Roy's just seen a, yes. a toilet seat vandalized with a racial yes. slurs for the first time, and he shook. I was walking to my friend's it's house. his first time in the South. And he lives in, the, like, a nicer neighborhood. His kid's in the truck. They just said <laughs> Spat on me, got on my <laughs> chest. I just kept walking. Like, well, I don't know. I, couldn't, I was already halfway back to my house. I couldn't just back. They was already going the other way. I'm not trying to go back that way, too. And then that just, that was the first day, too. So that set the precedent of like where we lived for a year afterward. Wish I could quit you. That's your name, Augusta. How long ago were you here? Two years ago in April. I mean, a lot has happened since then. Oh, wow, I remember this area. Bikini Hill right there. 2010, I made a post on a Kanye West forum, and I was looking for friends. I just wanted people to like hang out with and make music with, and now we're here. Yeah, we planned to move here summer 2014, got here like fall, and the goal was to come here, spend a year in Texas, get better at what we do, and then like eventually make it to LA. It felt like we were taking a big risk because we literally dropped everything we had and came to San Marcos, Texas, which is basically like middle of nowhere. Oh, here we are. I used to skate that oh, big oh, ass over. <laughs> I wonder who living y'all. That car is still there. That black oh. car. Oh. Damn, it bro. ain't changed a bit, bro. Yeah, bro, this is wild. Ah, Damn. We pulling up. Here it is. Hey, back in my hood, man. Hey, we shut the you old hood down. Back in my hood. Ow, ow, my stomach. My stomach. My stomach. I'm gonna get my glasses. Oh, oh Jabari. It's hot as hell. It's hot. We not in LA no more. <laughs> I can say y'all, I can say ain't. You know what's crazy, bro? That's crazy. If you were in LA, you'd be scared to walk past that guy. If I was in South Central. If we were in South Central, yes. I'm scared to walk by anybody in South Central. So we're approaching um, the first apartment I've ever had on my own. I live there with Matt. Romel and HK. Yo, it's that one right there. We made Tattoo in this house, we made Echo in this house, we recorded Empty here. We did Echo here? Didn't we do Echo here? Yeah. I want to see my old room. We could get in if we want. Yeah, we know how to get in. But oh, we're not going to do that. Oh, I don't know if we should just like knock on it and walk in or like talk to them. What should yeah. we do? Hey. Um, we used to live here, and uh, we're filming a TV show. I'm wondering if we could just talk to you for a second. Okay, that's fine. It's okay. Have a good day. <laughs> she didn't even open the door. Homesteaders, for real. Some random black dude gotta come in your house. I used to live here. <laughs> no, back I up. hate this town. <laughs> you remember we went swimming that one time here? Yeah, and that dude played that uh, racist music. What, oh, was Johnny what did he play? Johnny he Rebel. played Johnny Rebel? And then he sent his dog outside. That shit was crazy. Wow. That's, wow. Johnny Rebel, what's that? Johnny Rebel is a Klansman, but he's a country singer. 
Like, Ooh. the music was so crazy. Johnny Rebel is, is it, it, in the Ku Klux Klan. What does it say? Like, he says hey. about Hank <gasps> and, like, all kinds and of And then he sends his dog out. Oh, that's him. Who? That's <gasps> the dude. That's him. Yeah. Let's wave him, him over. Let's wave him over. No. Go away. Go away. Let's let's get him. Let's go talk to him. Okay, come on. Let's go. Don't look at me with those eyes. That's him right there. What's up, man? Do you remember us? What's up, my man? Hey, guys. How's it going? Good. We're good, you? man. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. We just want to. We're good. How are you? Good, man. I'm doing pretty awesome, man. Uh, what y'all been up to? Living in California now. Living in California. Yeah. Uh, what do you What do you remember about these guys from when we lived here? Great tenants. Uh, really badass guys. Really down to earth. Uh, I always remember seeing him walking around, uh, uh, doing lyrics and always on top of it. Always Thanks, bro. doing business. Oh. Uh, I've been jamming out quite a few of your songs, too. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, that's so weird. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go try to find my truck keys. I'll be sure. Yeah, sure. Thanks, man. Thank you, bro. Later. Yeah, no problem. Oh, he listening to He's been listening to our music. Real, real he said bad that? Ass guys, real down mm, that's true. Earth. <laughs> you know, he sent a dog after me. Yeah, sure. Hi. Are you in Texas? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. Filming. You're in San Marcos. Yeah, I used to live here like a year ago. Oh, I didn't know that. I'm, I'm down to take a pic. I'm sorry. Okay, sorry. I'm just a country boy. Glad to be back home. We Where are home. From? We are home. We're in San Marcos, bro. That's so wild. I really miss Texas. I know, me too. Okay, no, stop. I'm good. I'm oh, shit. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good, nigga. Wow, they're gonna send me a long ass sex. Okay. Oh. Holy. Wow. Well. So I just had a conversation with this artist's manager, uh -huh. and it was about this potential tour that I wanted to do with this artist. And the call with the manager was kind of awkward because business got brought up. So I texted the artist oh. and was like, yo, I'm out of Could you fill them in? And, hold on. Ish. Hello? Oh, no. Also, one sec. Could we turn my mic off? I'm so sorry. Oh, okay. Thanks. Hey, what's up? So basically, Ian was asked to go on tour with this, with this act. The act themselves, they like love him. They're really into it. But um, their manager wants to sign him. And the deal is kind of like, uh, you sign with us, we'll take you on tour. But you kind of, he doesn't kind of want to sign right now, you know? I was, I was watching this um, Childish Gambino interview once, and he said, anytime you sign a contract with somebody, you're just giving them the right to make money off of you. It's kind of like that, in my, in my eyes at least. It's just um, knowing where you want to go and not letting anyone get in the way of that, no matter who it is, if it's an idol or anyone, like, you just have to protect your own brand. You have so many goals and aspirations, you just don't want to let one little thing just throw you off just because it's a cool person or you don't want to be distracted by a dollar sign or status, you know? Yeah. The weird part is, um, like, we've been gone for a year and literally nothing has changed in the town. Nothing. But, like, everything in our lives has changed. How'd he blow a fire? I don't know, he's a big bad wolf. Can't do this in LA. I was thinking about this the other day. I mean, I was like, the brand builds. There's gonna be more phone calls, and it's just something we have to like learn how to deal with as things get bigger and as we progress. It's a roller coaster. That's like a testament to like what Brockhampton is. Brockhampton isn't like just no. music collective. Like we wanna turn it into a media company. To keep doing what we do now, but at a bigger scale, you know, the bigger you get, you know, the more phone calls. He's got to get on the four conference lines. You got to dial into like, that's just how it is. You miss out being stuck. Yeah, in the past, you got to keep it moving. We just want to make what we want to make and have fun while we do it. <laughs> 